So welcome to part 4 of this um, tutorial and uh, before we move on to add the details I'm, I'm not entirely happy with one portion of this model and maybe I can show you how to fix some of these issues if you face them in the future. One is this uh, seam that you can see here. If I isolate this let me hide some of the object so let me isolate this here this seam is not desired this happened because the uh, profile has been placed here uh, for the sweep so I want to edit that fix that that's the first one second thing that I want to fix is the transition between this portion and the cup you can see that's a very small gap and when we end up creating a boolean union of these two this edge will become a problem and the last one is I just want to increase the thickness of this shelling because uh, 0 0.05 is not enough to add two uh, big rounds on both edges here. And the last thing is to add a small detail along the handle uh, that we'll do by projecting a curve and then creating a sweep. So let's start with the first uh, small correction that is go to the rail sweep just expand this to find the circle so you can see that it's placed exactly where the seam is created so the way to fix this is first of all let's try to keep an eye on it here and go to a different view and just use the move tool and move it by about 0.125 inches it's going to fail because there are some objects that will be broken but you can see that the seam is now gone but if I look from the top the shape has also changed so if you want to get a more smoother shape we'll have to increase the size of the circle so I'm going to double click on it make it 2.25 and move it by 0.1 and the second thing that you want to, uh, that I want to fix is the transition between these two surfaces for which we'll go into the front view the layers tab and make sure the curves are on and the curve in question is this one so if I double click it all I need to do is select one of these and make them a cusp because then the transition will be flat or another thing you can do is actually add another point at this location because in order to get a tangent continuity between surface you need at least one point uh, along the same axis so here I've added one point at this location and if we go and see there is still some gap so we'll add one more point along that curve I will add a point on the other side so let's do a boolean union and check whether that has actually solved the problem before that let's solve this issue which is the broken surface extract since the object itself changed we have to redo the extract which is very easy in the studio you just double click on it go to surfaces you just reset it and then select these two and then hit the green check mark and everything should update so the issue is now gone in order to check whether we've actually created a nice seam between these two let's just do a boolean union between this and this and voila you can see that there is no seam here and let's just check on the other side there is no seam so this helps us create a nice round at the top edge that's flowing all the way around to increase the offset of this main cup let's just go to the shelling which is this one double click and let's make the global thickness 0.75 let's remove the custom shelling for now so let's make 0.1 to add that feature I was talking about the handle it is this small split line that you can see and there's a slight change in the material here it's a more grippy material compared to this one so we can just do a visual seam using a very simple projection and sweep so let's create NURBS curve and to finish the curve and to close it you just create the last point and drag it over the first and it will close it and now we can use the curve projection select the curve and then the surface right click to project now to create the actual seam let's create another circle of about 0 0.05 inches and then you can use a simple sweep with the circle as the profile and then the projection as the path and turn on auto alignment and then we'll use a subtraction between the main handle 
and the sweep and then we can add a couple of rounds here so let's start by adding a round to this you can choose uh, 0.05 or whatever is appropriate here and we can add the same to both edges and hit the green check mark so next we can start adding the rounds to the main body so let's start with the round and just select the bottom face and it'll add the round to all the edges that are common and I'll change the value to 0 0.04 and I'm also going to select this face which will add edges to the uh, rounds to these edges too once it's done hit add edge set and then we can go to the inside and select the inner surface and the inner slanted surface to add the rounds on all these edges hit the green check mark to finish so we finished adding edges to the inner and the outer parts of this section then the top portion can be another round so let's start by adding a round to this edge here because that's a bigger round as when compared to the rest so I have about 0.1 click on add edge set and then click this edge again now I can give a larger round maybe 0.25 will be good okay and the last thing will be to add rounds to the top so I'll use the round again and select this edge I'll change the radius to 0 0.04 and finish them. in this part I'm just adding some more edges to the existing edge set to complete all the selections so here we are with all the rounds added and the only thing missing are the rounds for these the top and bottom of this handle so we'll just double click this because there's already a round and just click add edge set and for the bottom I'll slightly increase the radius and then click add edge set again and then add one to the top here and reduce it to about 0 0.04 I hit the green check mark so all the rounds have been created and we have a completed model uh, the next step we can quickly look at how to render this using some custom environments.